friends, we're here at the, what does that say? Wholesome Roots. It's right up there, I read it, because I couldn't remember. We're here with Rose at Wholesome Roots, and we are, uh, so we're about to make some late Thanksgiving pumpkin pie. Uh, Mr. Wholesome Roots loves pumpkin pie. Mrs. Wholesome Roots uh, refused to make it, evidently. So we showed up yesterday, and we're like, we got you, Ryan. We'll make your pumpkin pie. So uh, Ryan, Ryan works for a composting company, and um, that's how they say it in Britain, compost. And um, and so this was, so this was a uh, this was a this was a porch pirated compostable. Um, what kind of cabbage or Kusha. Kusha. That's right. Kusha. Kusha. And it's in the pumpkin family, so we're gonna squash. we're gonna make squash pumpkin whatever. But it has a so, sweet pumpkin like like consistency. So we're yeah. making kusha pie. Uh, because I don't know if yes. you know this or not, but most of what you buy in the can as pumpkin filling is in fact squash. Squash filling. And not necessarily pumpkin. So we're going to roast it off, what, like 35, 40 minutes at 400 degrees? Something like, well, it's really thick, so I think it's going to take a little bit more. Probably an, an hour. hour. And then we'll, uh, we'll make, make it into a pie. <laughs> yes. And, and I can't wait. And we're in Georgia, so we will be using lard in the, the pie crust. crust state law. It's, uh, yes. I read it, it's uh, Georgia code. 231.4 subsection 31 all pastry must be made with lard so we're gonna go ahead and do that so uh, we're compliant with Georgia law while we're here and uh, we'll have what we'll a nice pumpkin pie yeah yay yummy in our tummies so. Ryan what are you doing I'm tuning up this vehicle what I'm wrapping bacon around Brussels sprouts on a Brussels sprout tree why because nothing says holidays like a bacon wrapped Brussels sprout tree. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ryan, you bounce on yourself. Brussels sprouts, bacon, maple syrup. What could possibly go wrong? Um, everybody eats it all and it's gone. And, and then I don't get any? Oh no, that would go wrong. I shouldn't have said that. That is a venison backstrap. Where'd you get that from? From our woods. What? You want to tell us about it? Uh, yeah. I shot a, a, a deer and now we're eating it. <laughs> oh, that was a great story. I know. Wonderful story. I stopped to investigate a mushroom on my way out of the woods, spooked a buck, he circled back around towards me, and I got one clear shot and it was a good one. Yay! Okay. Hey guys, so, uh, yeah, we had some, uh, a pumpkin pie, um, like, uh, what do they call that when you go some, a different way? A detour. Detour, we had a pumpkin yes. pie detour. So the squash we baked off yesterday was, it was not in the spirit of harvest and fall. It was yellow, not orange, and we needed a side <laughs> dish for dinner. So we actually uh, roasted it off for the pie, but ended up dicing it up, finishing it in some butter and olive oil, salt and pepper for the grilled or the seared venison loin we had last night. So today Rose and I are preparing a Gerardel or Gerardel. Not sure how to pronounce it. We're not it. sure, so please it's don't be- It's a wonderful be heirloom. Squash. So, and if you look at it, I cut it open and there's this beautiful sugary nectar that's just, just weeping out of the tissue smells really good and and so it's sure to make a great pie so we're gonna we're gonna roast it off for an hour on a cookie sheet at 400 degrees and then um then the the queso maker when she's up from her nap should whip out a pie crust and ryan gets like super homemade super good farm to table pumpkin pie I get a pumpkin pie? What did I do that's so special? <laughs> You're you. <laughs> and I get to save all the seeds because it's an heirloom squash. There's a good chance it's crossed with other squashes because I don't know where it was grown. But it's okay because it's probably still going to be a nice, sweet, super nice pie, uh, squash. Not, it's not a pumpkin. It's technically a squash, but they call it a pumpkin. You know. Squash pumpkin, what's the difference? Not much. Especially when you read the ingredients on the can of filling. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm 
taking full advantage of having the butcher and the baker here this weekend. I've had my dear Paul butchering all of Ryan's wonderful deer meat. Ryan is grinding down what he prepped for us. And we have Katie over here mashing some of that wonderful pumpkin. Look at this. It's just a big, it's just a big mess. It's a big homestead mess. Vegetarians can butcher too. Yes, you can butcher that squash. And I'm peeling turnips for our venison stew. So what are you doing now, Katie? I am making pie with lard, because that's, you know, wait, that's what homesteaders so, do. Wait, they don't use Crisco. You're making pie crust from scratch? Oh, yeah. 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 <gasps> You are so skilled. It's super I'm, easy. I, I'm very impressed. I'm excited. Super easy. This is gonna be so good, y'all. You see all that? That's from one pumpkin. <laughs> we're gonna have to freeze a lot of it, but we're gonna make a couple of good yummy yummy pies. So yeah, so we're making two pies. So it's just a double crust. Yum yum. And you can use lard for one for one for shortening. So if it calls for shortening, Use the lard. It's better for you. It's better for you. It has a flakier crust. Definitely. Okay, so this is my rolling pin. It is quite honestly a curtain rod that was cut down. Or a closet rod, not curtain rod. It is a closet rod. <laughs> and uh, I used to use the ones with the handles. And then Paul got a French rolling pin, which is tapered on either end. And then um, he went to Mexico and saw the ladies making tortillas with these, or PVC. And you can get a really good, uh, even pressure. And do very circular things with a closet rod. And, I mean, I guess it depends on what you want, but it works for us. That's really cool. So, it works just like the French rolling pin. But, um... Now it's not going to be round, but anyways, I like it, um, and then I didn't have to worry about bringing a really nice French rolling pin on the trip. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Here it goes. Of course, it's a. became perfect pie crust. It's just easier to work with. And it's more durable. Like if I would have that would have been a Crisco pie crust, it would be tearing. And um and I find that Crisco it's like a, a funny flavor to the crust that's not enjoyable. So I don't eat this part, which I this is my favorite part. But the lard crusts I can't get enough. So I just switched to lard. Just poking this because we're gonna par bacon. 
If I was in my kitchen, I'd be putting my bean, my bacon beans on it. It's, oh, not you. it's, it's completely right out. It's completely. Oh, it's live. Is it really? Yeah, it's Ooh. live. What happened in there? The heat light opened up, and the sill was on top of it. Oh my goodness! Oh my you just watched a baby quail hatch in the middle of yes! dinner. Yes, it That's went. Awesome. It went. <laughs> what did it do? Opening. What did it do? The foot, it went. The foot Can you show Mr. Ryan what it did? <laughs> That's exactly what they do too. Oh, it's gonna do a walk. Aww. Oh, it's crying kind of. Tomorrow. Our best kind of dinner interruptions you can get. Yeah, best Aww. dinner. And best dinner ever, thanks to our lovely can friend I Katie, see? who made the best venison stew I've can ever I had. Can I see? Yeah. Well, I mean, when we're done, mm -hmm. you've sufficiently consumed it. I'm going to go walk. Okay. To the stew's credit, I've never had venison Look this fresh. Okay. For stew. I don't think that that would Excuse benefit me. in any way, really. Honestly. Because I think when we age it, it does get more tender. I'm going to take on the other baby. You eat your carrots? I'm going to name it. What you making for dinner tonight, Katie? <laughs> well, it's like turkey pot pie, but without the pot. Well, it's in the pot. It's deep. Without the pie. Deconstructed chicken dumplings. Oh, yes. Dumplings. Sorry, we are doing Ooh. a deconstructed chicken and dumplings. He's making the biscuits. I'm making the yeah. turkey soup that's thick. And we're going to yeah. serve it over top like biscuits and gravy, but instead yeah, of our biscuits, it'll be turkey soup gravy. Yeah. Does that work? Um, Talk about a nice, satisfying meal on a cold winter evening. So basically, if you have the butcher, the baker, the queso baker, come over to your house for a visit, plan on being very well fed. These people love to cook and they love to cook for you, or for us anyway. I mean, I'm getting the impression that they, they pretty much enjoy this. Kind of what we do. I love it, it's awesome. I may not know how to grow vegetables, but I can turn them into yummy food. You sure can. I can, that's right. Sure can. And this is the best pie I've ever had in my life. This is a squash pie made special from Katie at the Butcher, the Baker, and the Queso Maker. And we used the heirloom pumpkin in there. And this crust is the flakiest crust I've ever had in my mouth. And it's so good. So I'm definitely going to share her recipe, or she's going to share her recipe. Somebody's sharing this recipe because people need to know how to make this. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys had fun? Yeah. You have? Yeah. You've had lots of time to play with all different kinds of toys and new yeah. friends. Yeah. Are you sad that we're leaving today? Yes. Oh, I didn't oh. know you were filming. You guys are leaving today, not us. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Yeah, it's called Thai fire. We're going to miss you. Oh, I'm going to miss you guys too. Oh, I'm trying to convince your mom and dad that you need to move to Georgia. I have two our neighbors. Roblox. Bye. Bye. We're going to miss you. Me, me too. Oh, it's a tear-filled goodbye at the Wholesome Roots Farmstead. Goodbyes are the hardest when you've made best oh. friends for life. Hello. How are you? Hi, YouTube. Goodbye, Rose. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, the lady in the back crying. I know. Oh. It was fun. Yes, Thanks it was. for letting me cook in your kitchen. Thank you for all the awesome food. I feel so spoiled now. I'm like... <laughs> Belly is happy. You like to feed people. My baby is happy. <laughs> you guys have to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure we'll have Ryan this. get another deer. She's gonna miss you. Bye. I'm gonna miss you guys too. She's crying. No more crying. No more crying. <laughs> I love you guys. You're such great kids. Come back and see us. <laughs> Thank you, Rose, for everything. Yeah. Bye, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Bye, that's Ryan. right. Bye, Ryan. <laughs> I'm going with them. <laughs> Bye.